Hey YouTube, I'm honored and proud to present a trainee that I've been working with for a couple of days. I want to show you what he's up to. Also, I know another reason why I did that. Because part of me was not wanting to have this hit this edge, you know what I mean? Being afraid of a tight spot. As long as you're rolling off the edge, you're good. Now this is Patrick's third day, and while we've worked on a number of boats in the meantime from when he showed up to now, this was the worst one. And if I can send him home knowing that he can tackle this nasty, janked up bayliner, then my gosh, when he gets home, he shouldn't be afraid of any boat that he sees. Nice and, flat. and Patrick, so if you're watching this, this yeah. nice day, job, buddy. Thanks for coming. Not just on the area we worked on. Right, right exactly. Bring it all together. I'm going to go super slow on this one. Smear it right here at the end. Nice. Let's see if we clean that up a little. Do I feel like this? I can't see under there as well as my height. the angle every once in a while. Here we get in there. Right up to the edge. In fact, go over the edge by about a half inch. All right. Remember, that's the working part of the wheel is actually not the not the, not the not edge the, of a wool pad. Now where I'm seeing it. Yeah. If it was a foam pad, you're right there. But with the wool pad, you always have to go a little bit further. Got it. I can see what you're talking about already. Yep. And if you don't go hard on the edges where the tape is, when you pull it off, you'll see that that's the dull section. And you'll hate it. There you go. Good damn. That decal got me. Oh, decal. A bit of a draft spot there. If you need more compound, yeah, I'm gonna go after that.
Shoulders start burning a little. Ooh. You know what? This way felt better. There it is. At least he's taught me nothing else just to get comfortable. Yep, yeah, you're gonna be there for a while. Goodbye, decal. Yep, let's stop. And remember, we want to roll off of an edge. There you go. Now put some pressure on it and cut it. Nice and slow. Let that compound do what it's supposed to do underneath that wheel. Okay, now that you got semi-gloss, go ahead and show me what your RPMs can do. Keep going. There you go. at the wrong angle. There you go. buried and long and I don't know it you have to figure out what you're doing wrong I think I'm getting so quick. try holding the buffer at a different angle hold it with different hands oh. <laughs> I think this is a technique I'll have to practice on my boat and not somebody else's yep but it works 
a totally different from the angle to get it right. And I'm a big burly dude that wants to just do it. You have, you have to let it do it. Remember, it's like riding a horse. You point it in the direction, give it some encouragement, and then let it take over. <laughs> Are you rolling onto an edge or off of one? I'm rolling the wrong way. Hey -o. And you probably want to start from this side so you're grabbing and grabbing. Yeah. You don't okay. cut with the outside edge. The inside. You can do that with foam, you can't do it with a wool pad, not effectively. At least not with any sort of control. And you can't see what you're doing cutting forward on the leading edge. You can only see what you're doing cutting forward of the trailing edge. So you're obviously lifting up a little bit. Yep. So before you finish that pass, come back about an inch ahead of that. Get that same angle. Make sure that you're cutting all the way down to that edge. A little bit more. There you go. Basically divide it in two halves, the top half and the bottom half. And then when we're all finished with the top and the bottom half, we're gonna blend them together with a nice medium pass right through the middle. Okay. And then back the other way. Yes, yes. But not getting into the edge. Not getting into the edge. You're basically trying to, just kind of, you're gonna be cutting either up like, like this, mm -hmm. or you're gonna be cutting from the top down. Right. Okay. Like this. Right up in that corner. And once you find an angle you like, just walk it all the way from one end to the other. Because you know that that edge corner has already been hit a couple times. So even though you see a little compound building up in that corner, yep. don't worry about it. Now nice and flat all the way across a couple times and blend those two halves together. It feels and sounds so much different at slower speed. Got the whole different machine. Yeah. There you go, now you're flat. Just hold that geometry all the way to the left. Move your body more than your arms. Feet weren't wide enough. I need, I need to work on getting my feet spread out. I, I, I ran out of this. You know, get, have me. <laughs> Semi not tropical vacation to you. I want to be cussing anyway, don't worry. <laughs> I hope he's enjoying his low humidity. Oh, I will be. Yeah. I don't even want to tell you when it reaches those temperatures here, I just pull boats into the shed and turn the AC on. Good little thing over there. I thought it was wet. Sticky, huh? Well, what do you think? I can see myself. Look at some dry spots because I have left dry spots. I see an imperfection there, but that's that's a not scratch. Me. That's not you. There's some dust. We got here wax, or I mean meltdown. I'll tell you what. Let's hit it with some alcohol. Clean it off. Yeah, we'll really see what's up. Yeah, then you'll be. 
You kind of missed that one. Yeah, dude. It's okay. Dig into it and then flatten out around it. And remember, you've always got a microfiber towel. Bulldozer versus a, a spoon. Okay. So for this area, like, I can already tell I, wanna, I don't really want to hit it with that wheel anymore. Yeah, because you're taking off wax the yep. more you do that. Now you still got this area over here. Yep. And since it's a buffer and you put a little bit of wax up here, just lightly come up and touch that leading edge. There you go. And over there. And then just wipey wipe. You build up a whole bunch of static on that rag so the first person you touch feels it. Good. You're next to me. You're closest. Sometimes I'll be buffing a boat and my nipples get a little close to the gunnel rub rail. Oh, gee. Pow! You get a little art come across. Oh, you, come you're just like, come on, boat. Seriously? I'm showing you love. All right, what do you think? I mean, obviously, the stark difference between one section and the other is rather dramatic. Yes. So let's make it even more so. Well, I feel good about touching Lee's famous bay liner. Oh, there you go. And now I have a section here and you can text me and be like, okay, it's been eight months. How's that look? Yeah. And I'll just come out here and take a picture for you. So you don't have to wonder, did everything I learned actually translate? Can I do this? Is this going to work? Yeah. So yeah. Although you don't know that I'm going to cheat and compound and wax this like every other week just to make you I know, think right? so. All right. So you want to try taking though. the wax off here? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Fuzzies. Good job. Yep, so that clears you for reaching. Before you hit the bottom, spread your legs out. Get a baseball stance. Cool. Do a little squat. Get some quad quad stress. <laughs> that way when you're moving left and right, you're moving more of your body and less of your arms. There you go. There you are, sir. I'll trade you. Oh, that feels like glass. It's got a nice smooth feel, right? Yep. There you go. So, Patrick, you came from Arkansas. My guess is uh, you thought you'd learn something about how to treat your boat. What made you think that you had to come all the way across the country to Washington? What inspired you to get here? Well, I hadn't been to Washington since one. <laughs> That's always a reason. That's always a reason. Damn, uh, it just shocked me. Did you hear it? Yeah. Son of a boat. <laughs> well, you know, I found Lee on YouTube looking at his videos and stuff. And, um, well, A, I wanted to learn a new skill, but also B, this just seemed 
like a way back home in Arkansas everyone said wet sand wet sand wet sand and we ran across Lee we talked on the phone and things and there's another way there is indeed another way so speaking of that other way this is your third day we started the first day with just basic here's some rough compounds here's what it can do it can take out scuffs and scratches and it can also polish stuff up the next day we worked on an entire boat inside the shed working under lights which is kind of cheating but we still did it and today you're working on the ugliest bay liner that's ever crested my view and what you did today was match what i did back in February of this year. And I think you did it rather well. It's got a really good gloss. I can almost read the bottle down on sitting on the ground there in the reflection. You also tackled this area back here, a little compound and a little bit of wax. You've used a foam pad and a wool pad. Which one do you like the best? I feel like the wool pad has a little steeper learning curve. Mm. And I'm looking forward to trying to tackle that a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and I also think it has some potential to uh, really liven up a boat, if you will. But the foam pad, if you're lazy, it's easier because it doesn't, you know, you grip quite as much. Yeah, yeah. I like both. The wool is a fun challenge. Cool, cool. So um, we've talked about this a few times. Do you think going back home you're going to be able to tackle your Malibu and do better than you could have if you wet sanded and then tried to compound it on your own? Or I think so. And. Do you think you'd be better off saving that four thousand dollars for other things? <laughs> yeah, that is the price they threw at you, right? Yeah, the four four thousand dollars is what somebody said they would uh, get that boat looking or get rid of the oxidation. Man, that's the cost of a really nice used car. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came personally. I've had fun with you and your wife. Um, it's been entertaining meeting somebody who hasn't seen or done this before like oh, a no, month I ago. I never touched a buffer before I got here. So this is really kind of cool and I'm really happy with what you've provided as far as the shine. It's dark, it's deep, it's glossy. And my guess is it'll last just as long as that because we did the exact same thing. So let's move on to some other boats, some other things, and we'll talk about some stuff that's on your mind. And after that, I guess I got to send you home. <laughs> but you've always got my number, you've got my email, you can always reach out to me at yeah. pretty much any time of night or day. And if it's too late, I'll just text you back in the morning. And if it's too early, I'll just text you back after I wake up. But I think you're on your way. And I don't have a problem sending you back home. And I expect some really great things to come out of your videos. And I want you to post it on YouTube or at least send it to me so I can see it. I want to see the before and afters, desperately. But I'm really, really impressed with what you were able to accomplish in three days. So let's move on. Patrick actually learned most of this stuff really quickly and didn't need all that much pushing. I'm really impressed.